In this final section, we will show you how the Canadian RadarSat program is evolving and what program activities are currently underway. At the outset of this MOOC, we have introduced you to Canada's long-standing involvement in radar. We sketched out the milestones of airborne SAR research to support resource mapping and environmental monitoring. These activities have culminated in the RadarSat program. After three decades of successful operation, it is now in its third generation, with a trio of identical satellites forming the RadarSat Constellation mission, or RCM as we call it. The final flight and landing of the Convair 580 aircraft at the Canadian Air and Space Museum in Ottawa in 2015 is a highly symbolic one. In effect, this aircraft connected Canada's airborne and spaceborne SAR aspirations. For almost 40 years, it was Canada's flying radar laboratory, one of the very best in the world. The airborne SAR system served many national and international experiments. Many researchers and scientists in the Americas, Europe, and Asia relied on Canada's airborne SAR data collections for proof of concept studies. Some of these eventually led to billions of dollars of investment in national and international satellite SAR programs. The entire Canadian system stood for something outstanding, defining cautious but effective radar development and utilization. On one side, you have innovative applied science and technological excellence. The other side consists of collaboration between engineers, scientists, managers, and users in government, industry, and academia. The combination of both approaches have resulted in very reliable radar sat systems that are in operation today to further Canada's economic, environmental, and foreign policy goals. In economic terms, the Government of Canada's report on the state of Canadian space sector in 2018 placed Earth observation revenues of $278 million, third in line after those accrued by satellite communication and satellite navigation. How is Canada's RadarSat program evolving today? We will highlight this evolution by showing you examples of SAR technology and recent activities related to the RadarSat Constellation mission.